After months of back and forth, Congress passed sweeping tax reform on Wednesday. When you think you haven't heard this expression, but we are making America great again. You haven't heard that, have you? One of the biggest winners is corporate America. Why? Because their tax rate will be lowered from 35% to 21%. A lot of companies have been vocal advocates for a lower tax rate. They say this will bring the U.S. more in line with tax rates around the world, and it will allow them to be more competitive on a global scale. They also say it will be good for the American economy, because instead of spending that money on taxes, they'll be able to spend it on investment, innovation, and hiring. Republican lawmakers have also cheered tax reform, saying it will be good for the American economy and it will benefit American workers. However, there's some skepticism about how companies will use their tax savings and who it will actually end up benefiting. In a recent survey by Bank of America Merrill Lynch, the most common way that companies said they would use their repatriated earnings was to buy back shares and to pay down debt. Capital investment was further down the list. Immediately after word got out that Congress had approved the tax bill on Wednesday, a bunch of companies rushed to say how they would use the savings. AT&T was the first out of the gate. It said it would be handing out $1,000 raises to 200,000 of its U.S. employees, and it would be investing a billion dollars in the U.S. in 2018, once the bill has been signed into law. Comcast is handing out $1,000 bonuses to over 100,000 employees, it will hire thousands of people, quote unquote, directly and indirectly, and it will also be spending $50 billion over the next five years on infrastructure.